Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting paid. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, thank you for your videos. I have recently been looking for a new job and found that a lot of people, myself included, don't know how much they should get paid. I know people with a lot less knowledge and experience that are getting paid more than me and also people that are better than me that are getting paid less. Do you also see this happening? I would love some insights from your side on how salaries and knowledge should go together and how much you should ask for depending on your knowledge. I'm from Spain but advice for EU is in EG, the EU is in general. Uh, in general would be nice. So um, there's a saying that I really like uh, which is I think it goes you're only worth as much as someone is willing to pay you. And what I love about that saying is that the uh, it, it captures the problem with pricing something that you do not understand. So there's uh, there's a joke that I like to tell my friends, or rather, rather when I try to rile them up. They I have friends who are very interested in music and so forth, and I they nerd out to me about different sort of obscure bands and specific artists and stuff like that who are very talented. And what I'd like to tell them is that yeah but I mean their tickets are worth almost nothing but if you want uh, the Justin Bieber makes more money or uh, I don't know Selena Gomez so I don't really know who is famous these days uh, these people are you mean much better artists or they they bring a lot more money into the cash registers and see that the thing that I try I, I like to poke fun at there is that if you want to be popular you cannot be an expert in something that is non-mainstream it does not matter how genius you are if you think about it which I think is kind of fun the only reason anybody knows anything about IT and kind of acknowledges that it is a big area is because Apple has a lot of money. Microsoft has like a logo on like the computer. Like the IT companies and Google and so forth. Uh, the only reason fa people in IT become famous is because they usually create something that makes them so much money that they became fa and become famous for it. Like Bill Gates is famous more in the common in the public eye for his money. Then, or rather he started out that way then because he founded Microsoft it's debatable if that is completely true or not but the, I hope that you see what I'm saying the perception is the thing that gives you your money value it doesn't matter how good you are and when you realize that you will start to realize that the the salary that you get as a software developer is actually down to a lot of very complex factors it's similar to the stock market where it doesn't really matter like you can logically try to attack the pro you can try to attack the problem of investing from a completely logical perspective and all it takes is for a mass hysteria or some emotional thing to trigger and all of a sudden that might not no longer be true because human beings are not rational uh, or they're not completely logical beings and so if you want to stack your bets in terms of like how to get the most amount of money it's actually down to something much more complicated than that you're very good the best and like the short, most surefire way to get paid the most amount of money is to usually join up with one of the consultancies or the quote unquote like I like to say the right consultancies consultancy because the consultancies uh, they completely feed off of the fact 
that they have a headcount, a lot of developers, and that they have customers who are willing to pay a certain amount for those uh, consultants. Now they will take margins and stuff like that as well, so it really comes down to finding the right place. You can also of course think of it as, you, you mean you could be your own person, and then it really comes down to the thing that every single business in the, on the entire planet is trying to do, and that is to find the right customer who is willing to pay you like as much as humanly possible without other factors kind of getting in the way. But for you as a software developer, it's usually down to that. And then what the consultancies will do is that they will broker a deal with the tech company. And usually they favor brokering deals towards businesses who can pay like a higher margin or things like that. And if you play your cards right, you most of that goes into your own pocket and they if, if you go with a bad consultancy, you might not get paid all that much more. It's just that they take out a larger cut from you know recruiting you towards the, the IT company. And so these IT companies, the thing that they lack usually is headcount. And the second part, which is even more important, they lack IT hiring experience. And that's the key thing. Most of your customers, guys, will have no knowledge of how to determine a bad quote-unquote software developer from a good one. Most of them don't really understand what makes a software developer good and what makes one bad. So they that's why Google, as you probably know, and Facebook and these fan companies, that's why they become the model for like everything from hiring processes to coding practices and stuff like that because these companies are specializing in making sure that they have good people or that uh, if they can, and of course, if they can't find good people, they, they have uh, training processes and, and uh, other factors within their company that, was, and that solidifies their position within the marketplace, at least in the IT department, of course. Most companies are trying to do the same thing, but they simply don't know how to do it. And so that's usually what happens when you find a subpar developer who is making a lot more money than someone who is really, really, really skilled, it's really, at the very least, that's usually down to the fact that they either have a stronger CV or some other arbitrary thing and they found the right place of work or the right consultancy that sold them to the right customer and so forth. And they are being paid a lot more on average than a software developer who is really, really good would be. But then on the other hand, if it's, it's no, I mean, guys, it's no different from if you sell something, if you start up your, uh, start a shop and it can be an identical shop to somebody else's, their business might actually be much more effective, uh, lucrative simply because such an arbitrary thing such as, I don't know, they have a better color palette or they had a better location or something like that and you are in the same situation even if you are the world's best software developer that does not guarantee that you will have as much money or that you will get paid the same sort of money as someone who is basically borderline incompetent but has the right thing on their CV and found the right customer or found the right consultancy that managed to somehow sell them towards the company because at the end of the day how good you are is usually not the most determining factor for how much money you make. It's more complicated than that. The thing that usually sets your price is your CV, how impressive is it, your personal brand, how like how easy are like are you a sociable person or someone who a lot of people might find interesting. What are your skills? Because even a bad software developer needs to produce something, even though most companies can't evaluate how good they are. They still have to like pass the initial interviews and like be able to do some of the daily work. Even if they, I mean, I've seen this happen a hundred times where companies pay outlandish amounts of money for someone who can produce something that an average software developer do, does in like a day. That takes them two weeks to do it. But the company, I mean, they're just throwing money at a random person who sort of knows what they're doing, right? And then the last thing is customer expectation. Because some companies, guys, even like the more prestigious companies, might actually pay less than the companies who don't have their structure simply because they are more aware of what the average value of a person is. And so it's actually funny because uh, a lot of the time, Software developers, who especially consultants, they, they're usually the one who gets priced the weirdest. Uh, they actually, they, they can actually get paid an insane amount of money in a company 
who is not really an IT company, simply, as I said, because they don't know what the value of this person is, and they can get paid a lot less and, or might not even get a job in a serious IT company because they, don't, they actually know what a good software developer looks like. So what I want you to take away from this is that, uh, from my perspective, uh, I am I'm not just seeing the thing that you're seeing I know that this is the way it works uh, because I hire software developers for companies and things like that and I work I've worked with everything from consultants to freelancers to like all kinds of people from different roles within IT companies at a small scale and at a really large scale and it's always the same story and it really comes down to the uh, the, as I said, these complicated factors like CV, personal brand skills, customer expectations, and so forth, when, it, when we are determining your value as a software developer. And so this idea that if you just get really, really good and you're like the best of the best, that you're going to get paid like much more than someone who is like basically just being able to do the job, it's not actually, it's not actually true. It's the same thing with, you know, contractors or um, you know any there's t guys there are tons of inter industries where you have people who do really really good work and people who do really shitty work and they can still get by because at the end of the day uh, most people they're just looking for a solution to a problem and most people don't actually know what the value of the work that you are doing actually is and that is especially true in software development have a great day